What's good YouTube, it's your boy, and I'm back with another video, but this time, listen, this time I got something for the community today. I be getting so many comments in my streams, my videos, I just be getting Tron, Tron, Tron. I see you go crazy out there, what's the jump shot, what's the jump shot, you know what? And here I am, I got a jump shot for five different kinds of bases, and you guys are gonna go absolutely crazy with all of them. What you guys are seeing right now is my six foot point guard, and this base right here is Patty Mills. Now, you can only get Patty Mills if you have reached starter three rep level, but don't worry because I have a jump shot for all my people out there who have not yet have reached starter three. And here's the jump shot. This is going to be for all my guys that are 6'5 and under. And this is Patty Mills. You can only get Patrick Mills if you reach starter 3. So if you do not have starter 3, don't you worry. I got a jump shot just for you. Just hold on a minute. The base is going to be Patrick Mills. Upper release 1 is going to be DeJounte Murray. Upper release 2 is going to be Colin Sexton. And the blending is going to be 60% DeJounte Murray with a maxed out release speed. Here's my rec stats with my brand new 64 PG with Patty Mills. 42 points a game, 16 to 6 a game, but is shooting a crazy 63% from 3. And now for all my people who have not yet reached starter 3 and you need a jump shot for your guard, I got you. Wait a minute, Tron. Let's rewind the tape. Did you just hit a 97% contested green? Yeah, y'all, this was my jump shot before I got Patty Mills. And when I'm showing these clips, I'm telling you, you guys are going to go absolutely insane with this jump shot as well. Now, this is going to be the Stephen Curry base. But let me show you guys exactly what the upper release one and two looks. And here's that jump shot that I promise you guys, if you are not a starter three rep yet, you're going to go with Steph Curry base. Devin Booker upper release one, upper release two is going to be Oscar Robertson and the blending is going to be 63% Devin Booker with a full release speed. And here's the stats that I was using with that Stephen Curry base throughout the whole time I didn't have Patty Mills. Remember, Patty Mills can only be unlocked with starter three. So for the whole time I was repping up my level, I was using the Stephen Curry base with this upper release one and upper release two. I was averaging 29 points a game, 15 assists a game with a 55% from three. Now let's get to the jump shot that I use for my lockdown build. Hold on. Devin Booker hop jumper step back three contested 48% green yeah hold on limitless 33% Tron what the hell are you doing nah that what nah you're not hitting these shots with a lockdown I'm telling you guys, this lockdown build is the best lock in NBA 2K24. You guys don't want to believe me, but I'm going to keep showing you clips after clips of what this build can do offensively. Defensively, it's absolutely insane. It has 95 strength. If you have not seen my build video for this build yet, please look at the description down below and go ahead and make this build. You guys are going to go absolutely insane. Let me show you this jump shot. And here's the jump shot for that build as well. Now it's very important that the height is at least six foot five and under six foot ten. This build is six foot seven. You got to make sure that your mid range is above an eighty seven, as you guys can see on the bottom right corner, is at where our mid range is at a ninety, or our three point shot needs to be at an eighty seven plus. It's on eighty five, so we get the threshold because we're at a ninety mid range. Our upper release one is Troy Brown Jr. Upper release two is Franz Wagner. And as for the blending, it's going to be six. 60% Troy Brown Jr. with a maxed out release speed. Here's the lockdown stats. I'm averaging 29 points a game and I'm shooting an insane 73% from the three point line and 75% from the field. And here's the jump shot for my crazy five out six foot six point guard. But if you guys are not a fan of playing five out offense and being a point guard with this build, this build is primarily meant to be a shooting guard. So if you have a point guard and you just want to be in the hash and spot up and shoot and just dribble when you have to, this is the build for you. As you guys can see, I go absolutely insane with this build as well. And this jump shot is a fan favorite that I kept getting asked. Right now, our 6-6 build video is up. It's also in the description box below. Uh, that build video is going insane right now. Let me show you guys what the jump shot looks like. 
Now this is that jump shot for that six foot six, 92 three ball build. Just like the other one, the height needs to be at least six foot five and under six foot ten. We're at six six. Our mid range is a seventy seven. Our three balls at ninety two. Upper release one is Troy Brown Jr. Upper release two is Kyle Korver, and the release speed is going to be maxed out with an eighty seven percent Troy Brown Jr. And lastly, here's the stats for my 6'6 point guard build. And it's also a shooting guard build. Do not forget, this build is mostly used to be at the hash. As you guys can see, I'm averaging 29 points a game, five assists a game, 75% from the field, and 71% from the three point line. Appreciate you guys so much for watching today's video. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to press that like button. Leave a comment. I'll see you guys on the next one. Later, y'all.